Now there are two hackles on the front of this file, or this fly rather, some natural guinea, uh, which I'm going to put on first. Um, the guinea feathers are, are short, so you may get one or two turns of this feather. But just tie it in as you would any other collar hackle. Just try and keep it folded. I have pre-folded this. This feather. Tie it off in the usual way. And once you're happy with your um, your guinea fowl, then tie in a light green, either soft rooster or in this case hen. This is a genetic hen. It's nice and soft and will give plenty of movement at the front of the fly. Uh, depending on what way the length of the feathers finish up, two or three uh, turns uh, can be used here. And you can really just see how it shapes up. Bit of a slip there. And just pull this back. I have this hackle already doubled, but as you go, just push the, the fibers back, and then once you're content with the, the length of it, then tie it off in the usual way. And once you've got that secure, then trim off your loose ends. And similarly with the tip. And really that just leaves your, your jungle cock. And if you just try and line those up with the, with the butt of the fly. Just on either side at the top. And get them fairly even. You don't have to be as fussy as I am being with them. And just a couple of securing turns. You can double these back. Sometimes I would double them back uh, just to make sure that they're not going to go anywhere. And if you're happy with the position of those just to proceed to 
build the head of the fly. And once you've that done, then just do your whip finish. And as I usually do when I reach this stage, do three uh, coats of varnish. Super glue still in the needle. Do three coats of varnish, um, twenty four hours apart. And there you have the Shimakov Norwegian wood. Good fly for early season. And. Uh, I hope you try it and tight lines for the rest of the season.